The pressure of being Mickey Mouse's cousin was just... It's just too much, man. What's up, everybody? It's Luke James, not the singer. If you're an indie artist looking for an album review and some promo, you can hit up Luke at redmattersite.com. And what I have for you boys and girls today is an indie review for Job's album, The Suicide Project. Now, Job is an indie rapper from out of Arlington, Texas, so to check him out, hear his music, and find out more about him, just peep the links and information posted underneath this video, just like I ask you to do every damn time. So why do I have to keep telling you, man? You better get this under control. This tape starts off with the suicide introduction, where Job represents for the Lone Star State, and he says that he's a dream chaser, chasing after that green paper. And most of the bars on this intro are just on that braggy, battle type of shit. Now there's not much that really sticks out about Joe's delivery style, because his vocals are a little bit flat, and his flow overall is kind of stiff. It's not the worst that I've heard, but a little bit more energy and passion put into his vocals and delivery would have really helped out and made a lot of these songs stand out more. Especially on the next song, Feel My Pain where he tells the story of a kid who was bullied to the point that he wants to lash out, and he does this over some organ and electric guitar production. But like I said, the bars here are alright, but if you put some more emotion into this, this would have been a much better track, and also the mixing could be a little bit better, especially on those hook vocals. Job also spins ghetto tales and drops some history lessons about the effects of racism and slavery on Black Power Anthem. And then, on Pyramid Scheme, he tackles some issues like the Illuminati and some government conspiracies, like how many people believe that the government flooded the black community with crack and also created the AIDS virus. So lyrically, he does come through with a little bit of depth here, and he brings a little bit of interesting content for you to dig through and think about. And there are also some really nice features on this album. Pyramid Scheme has great vocals from Josiah Ruff, who also joins Job on his dedication to his mother called Song for Mom. And he returns on Perfect Ten to help Job out on a song that's all about those dime pieces who are shaped like pop bottles with faces like top models. Because Job says that's all that he fucks with. He's not messing around with those 9876543 2s and 1s. And especially zeros. I don't even know what a zero would be on that scale, but that'd have to be pretty damn rough. Probably Honey Boo Boo's mom or somebody like that. And keeping with the topic of girls, on King Koopa, Job says that he'll steal your chick just like King Koopa, a.k.a. Bowser. The production on this one is a little bit outdated, but I really did appreciate the video game sound effects and also the video game references because everybody knows that King Koopa is the original Mr. Steal Your Girl. I mean, Princess Peach is just an idiot. How many times has she been kidnapped? And Mario continuously has to save her ass, man. He needs to just lock her up in a cage himself. Why wait until Bowser does that? But one of the best moments on this album comes on the song 1995, where Job flows over that popular beat from Big L and Jay-Z's freestyle back in 1995. If you've never heard that, look it up. It is absolutely classic. Big L especially went in on that one. I remember downloading that shit off Napster. And you know it's classic when people remember downloading it off of Napster. But anyway, on this track, I thought Joe brought some of his best flows, and he just sounded more focused on this one. So this was my favorite track on here, especially because of that production. I mean, that really took me back and brought back a lot of memories, but he did his thing on there as well. And this album definitely has its positives, but I think the strongest thing here are the guest features. Josiah Ruff absolutely kills all the vocals that he brought here. And then we get some bars from Rizzo Blaze on Back and Forth and also on the synth banging Texas representation, What You Know About Them Texas Boys. And those to me were by far the best bars on this entire project. So I give this one a 2.5 out of 5. It's not that it's all out trash, I just think if Job fixed a couple of minor things, this would have been a lot better. If the mixing was cleaner, and if his vocals, flow, and delivery were just a little bit more passionate, had a little bit more oomph in them, maybe just make them stick out a little bit more, fixing those couple of things would have taken this possibly to a 3.5, although really the production here is outdated for the most part, and there weren't a whole lot of beats that I liked either, but I definitely see potential. It's not like this is not worth checking out. I think some of you guys might like some of this, so make sure you check it out. There's information and links underneath the video, and that's just what I thought about this one, so let me know what you think in the comments section. And make sure you do all that good YouTube and social media stuff. 
where you like my videos, you share them, you follow me on Twitter, you retweet the videos, and you especially subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.